morning guys well I'm gonna try to do a little budget thing for you again uh, I watched a few YouTube videos and saw the guys are trying to paint their cars with rust-oleum so I'm gonna give it a shot uh, we're working on a race car so it's not that big of a deal if I mess up what I didn't see in any of the videos was nobody seemed to try to do anything custom with multiple colors I'm gonna try to do three colors the trick here will be trying to figure out when the best time to tape it off is. Because if I screw that up, I'll peel the paint off and that would suck. So I'm going to start with the white, rust -oleum, gloss. Then we'll do some red, some blue. I'm going to get patriotic with it. Uh, with a regular base coat, clear coat system, you can usually tape after 45 minutes. But uh, I have a feeling it's going to be probably closer to three hours before I can tape. They say this stuff dries very slow. Um, I am using the acetone for my thinner, which from my research says that that dries a little bit faster. Uh, I have some leftover hardener from a single stage paint job I did on my truck that I'm going to try to add a little bit of, which will hopefully help that too. I don't know what it's going to do to the shine afterward, but I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, the difference here is there's $75 worth of product there and if I was to do it correctly with automotive paint I would probably be closer to $500 so we'll try to do this as cheap as possible I'm gonna use an HVLP gun um, I've seen guys do it with rollers online it looks decent um, from five feet away it looks great uh, white is very good for hiding imperfection so it will probably look pretty good from five feet away uh, just trying to show you guys how to do some cheap customization that doesn't look awful. Uh, hopefully that works out. So as you can see the stripes came out pretty good. Uh, I'm going to end up painting the wheels black I think. I think it'll look a lot better with black wheels. Maybe those don't look bad but the, num I'm, the numbers are going to be black so the wheels will go with the numbers. Uh, this here is actually the, the old door rub rails. I cut them down and I'm actually going to put them on the roof to kind of give it a little different look. Maybe take some attention away from the old sunroof. Uh, I don't care for the mirrors. Probably paint the mirrors black. They stick out a little bit with the blue there. But uh, that, and I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have brought the blue all the way down to the bottom of the red stripe because that kind of clashes a little bit, at least in my mind. But as you can see, it's pretty shiny. You can get right up close to it. I mean, you can see there's, it's not super smooth. A couple fish eyes there. Uh, if you put a lot of coats on, you could probably wet sand it, but the guys on the internet have wet sanded it and buffed it and it came out a lot smoother, a lot nicer. The red was only two coats and I was able to tape that off in about five hours. I put a little bit more hardener in it than I did the white, but the white I put a lot of paint on the car and it took like 21 hours or so to, to really dry. And then obviously we still had a little bit of issue with the tape, but like I said before, I think that was from was from underneath, but I mean, it don't look too bad. Pretty shiny. My windows are pretty dirty. Front looks pretty good. I'm actually gonna black out the headlight buckets just to break it up a little bit. Go with the black wheels and black mirrors, black numbers. Yeah, there you go. Uh, in my opinion, I think um, doing a custom paint job with Rust-Oleum, you better have a lot of patience. It, there's a lot of wait time in between. And um, time frame wise, I don't know. We'll have to do another video here in a couple years or a year and see how the paint's holding up. Because that kind of dry time in between, I don't really know how the red and blue is going to stick over a long period of time. I mean, it looks pretty good now. It seems to have stuck pretty good. I would say if you were going to paint your car in one single color and you wanted it to be shiny and look decent, you could get away with doing Rust-Oleum. I mixed uh, a 50% thinner to paint. Uh, I used regular cuffs right from Home Depot and what I did was I filled it up to the, uh, I filled it up to the 16 line with paint and then another eight ounces uh, to the 24 line which would be 50 percent thinner and then I threw just a little bit of hardener in. I had some Omni 
a uh, fast top coat hardener left over from another job I did and I used that. Uh, originally I started with a capful in the white but I would say maybe two capfuls would be a little bit better get it to dry faster and it didn't hurt the shine it's still shiny so go ahead boys girls give it a shot doesn't look too bad driving down the road will look great good luck